Okay, I just wanted to make a, a video on how I level the bed on my CR10S5. Let me just start by saying I disassembled the complete X gantry, took off the top rail, and I put even spacers on each side, disconnected the Z-rods so the gantry was resting completely on both spacers evenly, you know, by loosening up the bolts. By loosening up the bolts right here and making sure the gantry was flat to the base rails without the Z-screws. So when I lifted it up by hand and just set it down on both the spacers, it hit the spacers at the same time, so it was completely resting on the spacers. I then put my Z rods into my couplers, tighten them both down at the same time. I, I homed the ac the home the Z axis first, so that the steppers were locked. I put the Z screws in, tightened them up, and everything was fine. I printed, worked great. Powered it down, waited a couple days, came back. Homed it out, got ready to print, and this side was like an eighth of an inch higher than this side. And I mean, since the both the Z steppers run off the same driver on the board, there's no real independent function, so it can't adjust, and it obviously doesn't stay the same. So for a while there, I was kicking myself in the pants, adjusting this, the bed screws, trying to get everything flat again. And, then, and that's when I realized when I physically measured, when I homed the machine, when I homed the machine and I measured over here, compared to over here, that's where I saw the discrepancy. So I tried to home it and then I loosened up the coupler adjusted the Z-screw down where it was supposed to be, tightened it up again, rehomed it, everything was fine again. Powered it off, waited a day, homed it out to print again, and the side was off again. So I don't really know what to do. So what I do now because I really don't, I mean, my bed doesn't change. These, the springs on this bed are so stiff that the bed doesn't move. My bed is perfectly flat. This is what changes. So why should I change my bed every time? And I don't really feel like unscrewing the screw on the coupler every time. So knowing that these stepper motors are not geared, they're just electronic pulses, here's how I Here's how I home my machine. Here's how I level my bed. So the machine, it's up to print temp right now. So we prepare for auto home. Steppers are locked. Now I prepare. Move axis. Move x axis. Ten millimeters. Move it to the center of the bed. Okay. So now when I measure from this side, it's like three and an eighth, and this side is like almost a quarter. So I know this side is going to be high and I have a bigger gap over here. So what I was doing is just measuring this and then measuring that and then physically moving the stepper motor.
over three and an eighth. And this is three sixteenths. So I go to bed leveling, level my corners. Perfect. That's, that's that's where I like it. I like it just barely. Could be a little tighter. Next point. It's not even going to be close because I, I measured, so it's not even touching. So what I would do is I would I would just hold the tape measure up there and lower the stepper driver. How many clicks? Seven or eight clicks. Now it's perfect. And now it magically measures three and an eighth, just like the other side. Next point, crude and barbaric, but it doesn't stay where it's supposed to stay, so what are you supposed to do? Now that corner is perfect, which would have been high. Perfect. drag the exact same drag on every corner my bed is perfectly flat that's the only issue so if anybody else is having the same issue I don't know if this is a solution well, I mean obviously it's not a solution it's a band-aid but I uh, you got to do what works spent a lot of money on these machines and they need to function for us. So it's not hurting anything by turning that stepper motor while it's engaged because there's no gears in there. It's just being held in place by electronic pulses, magnetism, you know, so. Perfect. I never touch my bed screws. That's all I do. I move that down five or six clicks until my gap is good again. And that's it. So I'm ready to print a moon. I'm gonna print the moon. So maybe this will help somebody. Hopefully it will. If it pisses anybody off, it's not the right thing to do. I don't know. It works for me, right or wrong. And there it is. Thanks for watching.